Hey guys, I'm Nobu to ProBeats and today I want to show you a different way of mixing without using the mixing console inside Studio One. I think this is a really fast way of mixing and I think you can improve your workflow. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, hit the like button, let's get right into it. So in front of me I have a fairly simple mix but in the console as you can see things get a bit more complicated with a lot of channels, a lot of buses, a lot of sends. If you want to make changes to a plugin on a track, you have to double click the channel, open the plugin, adjust it, close it. If you're ODC like me, close the channel again. With Studio One version 5, you have an option where you can open the. Where is it? where you can auto expand the selected channel. When I start mixing, I usually use the mixing console. I like having all the channels in front of me, but once I start mixing, I find it a bit slow to open up the console, open up and make adjustments. That's why you can use this inspector tab and with Studio One version five, you have the full channel right here and you can make changes. You can play the track, and make adjustments on plugins, adjustments on sends. And I think this is a faster way to mix when you already have a decent mix, when you try to see where the audio is coming from. For example, if you have the console open, you've made the tracks really large and you're trying to find the vocals that are playing exactly in this place have to solo it it's not a good way to work using the inspector you already have the ranger where you can see exactly what we have let's say that i want some eq done on this part just add an eq make the changes close it move to the next track change the level change the panning change the input control change the sands and I really think that this is a really fast way that you can mix an alternative to using just the console I use a combination of the mix console and the inspector and my workflow got a bit faster since the studio one version 5 release and I wanted to share this workflow tip with you I really hope that you enjoyed this short video please subscribe hit the like button don't forget to follow me on instagram see you guys really really soon cheers